Hello and welcome to the hands-on VMware vSphere 6.x data center design. My name is Asif Maruf and I'm the instructor for this course. Today we learn how to manage ESXi using the tools that are available to us including CLI and GUI tools. We look at HTML5 based GUI client for managing and accessing ESXi. Uh, PuTTY which is an SSH client to manage ESXi from the command line. Explore ESXi features, provision virtual machines on the ESXi host. Some examples of managing ESXi using GUI as well as CLI are to display a list of VMs on a host, list of NICs on the host, list of VFS data stores that are connected or visible to the host. To begin, uh, we need to connect to the ESXi host from a browser, open a browser window and put in the IP address that was configured earlier. The, the choice of, of browser depends, but I recommend it is Chrome. Once you provide the IP address and the credentials, including root and password, which were again uh, set up during the installation of the ESXi host, you should be able to connect. The next uh, slide shows a successful connection and uh, a number of details about the host including CPU, used memory, and storage. The lower frame shows additional details about the host. Connecting to the HTML5 client provides the administrator a lot of information about the host, how it's running, some performance metrics, and configuration details. In order to create a virtual machine, we navigate to the dialog box to create slash register virtual machine. In the live demo, uh, we'll show how this is done. Also, uh, you can list the uh, VMFS data stores that are visible to the data store, uh, to the ASXI host. Here we see VM underscore data store is visible. The ASXI host can also be managed with an SSH client. PuTTY is a very popular SSH client once you provide the IP address and connect, the next step will ask you for the root and password credentials, which are similar to the one we use to log into ESXi using HTML5. Once the login is successful, you are presented with this console showing a successful connection. Moving on, we should be able to now manage or query the ESXi host and, and get additional information. The top part of the console is displaying a command ASXI CLI storage command. When run correctly, will display the list of data stores that are visible. This will match what was shown in HTML5. So whatever is the output, whatever the commands we run in the CLI, they should match what is visible in the HTML5 GUI client. The lower part shows running ASXI, ASX CLI network NIC list command, which will display the list of NIC cards that are visible to the, or, with, or that are connected to the ASXI host. This command, the vm-cmd, when run correctly, will display the list of virtual machines. And what we see here, tiny VM and Spark Linux, this matches the list of VMs that are visible in the HTML5 client. In order to provision a VM on ESXi, the first step is to download the required ISO images and upload them to a folder on the ESXi uh, visible data store. In this case, a folder called ISO underscore images has been created and two ISO images have been uploaded into it. Sparky Linux and Tiny Core are the two ISO images. This dialog box shows the steps that are required to create a virtual machine. Uh, name needs to be provided, compatibility with the uh, latest ESXi version, the guest operating system family, whether Mac, Linux, or Windows, and the guest operating system version. Once the virtual machine is created, it shows up as an entry in the inventory. Here we can see 
Tiny VM and Spaggy Linux are the two VMs that are running on the CSXI host. The list of VMS data stores also shows that VMS VM underscore data store is the data store where these VMs are residing. To provision VMs, we need to connect to the ESXi host using vSphere HTML5 GUI client. Select option to create a new VM. Choose the VM configuration, including operating system, memory, CPU, and other details. Browse to the location for ISO images, choose the required ISO, power on and configure. I'm going to go to my live demo and show you the steps that we looked at. Here I'm connected to the ASXI host using SSH client. In order to look at the list of NICs or network interface cards, I'm going to run a command which begins with ESXCLI. When runs correctly, this command displays the list of network cards on the host, including speed, MAC address, and other details. I can also run a similar command to display the list of virtual machine file system data stores that are visible to this host. So ESXCLI this should provide a list of data stores. So currently in my environment, VM underscore data store is the only data store that is visible here. I will now head back to the HTML5 client and run the uh, enter configuration to log in and present it with this screen. I want to go to the virtual machine dialog box and say create. I select to create a new virtual machine. I'll enter a name. The name has to match the virtual machine that we are configuring. Uh, for the compatibility, we should uh, most of the time choose the latest version. Uh, here I'm choosing 6.5. The guest operating system can be Linux, Mac or Windows depending on what uh, operating system you are installing. Once I select Linux, I also select the matching version. So I'm selecting from the drop down box CentOS 7 64 bit. I say next. This is the data store that will host my virtual machine. In a real environment, you will present it with a number of data stores. Here in my lab environment, I just have a single data store. So I will choose that. Now we will be presented with a list of VM configuration. We have to carefully review each configuration option that we choose here uh, in order to ensure that the VM once configured will run and uh, as expected. This dialog box shows the summary of my 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 the configuration options that I have chosen. If I'm satisfied, I can click finish, and that will provision the virtual machine for me. Um, do note that this step will create uh, like a holder container for virtual machine and the next steps will be to actually boot it and make some additional configuration changes. I will now go back to my slide and provide a quick summary. So review of the video uh, looked at options for accessing ASXI host using virtual client and CLI both uh, GUI and CLI, access ESXi over network using HTML5 GUI client, accessing ESXi over SSH, exploring ESXi features, and provisioning a virtual machine on ESXi host. Thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for additional videos. Thank you.